Taking photos on your phone is one thing. Taking videos is an entirely different thing. If you want to learn how to take good video on your phone and have some really good footage that makes you stand out from what other people are doing, well, that's what we're covering here. In this video, what we're going to do is cover some really dead set simple techniques that you're going to get some really epic cinematic footage out of your phone. We're not going to be using expensive sliders and gimbals and things like that. We're just going to use some nice techniques with camera movement, shallow depth of field, slow motion, and some really inexpensive accessories that we can put into the phone. Don't have to use them, but I'll show you what they do. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. I'll walk you through the whole way. Let's get into it. G'day guys, Shane Mostyn here. I do two videos each and every week all about small sense of photography, usually with your phone. Yeah, so if you're into that sort of thing and you think you might get something out of it, hit that subscribe button and you'll see what I do each and every week. If you have done that, you're a bloody legend. Today where we are is in the bush, obviously. We're in Kahuna, Australia. Um, there's no snakes, there's probably snakes. It's winter though, so there's probably not that many snakes around. There's no spiders and I have seen some kangaroos. I can still see them through there. They're out through the back there. I don't know if you can see them on there, but there's, there's a few kangaroos out there. And what we're going to do here is take some video. I'll show you a few different techniques of shooting some video in amongst these trees to really up your game. And they're dead set simple. So the phone that we're using here today is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This one here has got the three lenses on it. It's the cutting edge of video as far as the iPhones go. It doesn't have to be this phone. You can use any iPhone to do this. In fact, you can use any phone to do this. What this gives me is three lenses. It gives me a telephoto lens, a wide angle lens, and an ultra wide angle lens. And that's enough there to give you some really cool cinematic options for what we're about to do. If you don't have multiple lenses, I'll link down the bottom to a few different examples of wide angle lens, telephoto lenses that you can put onto your phone and give you that option regardless of what phone you have. So as far as settings on this goes, we're just going to use 1080p. That's it, nothing more than that. And we'll use slow-mo functionality. And most phones come out of the box with that slow motion functionality. It's just slow-mo, simple as that. At the end of this, I'll show you some other techniques using a different app and it'll give us even more cinematic options but you don't have to do it. You can do it with this without anything else. And the aim here is to capture a 20 to 30 second video with all the different techniques that we have. The first video technique we're gonna talk about here is trying to establish the sort of shot that we have here. And we're going to call it the push. That is generally what it's known as in this industry. And what we're going to do is start back here behind this tree, bring out from the tree through this sort of bush here and show the open area that we've got here. So we're going to video go into HD, we're going to come back here, because I've got those three lenses here, I'm going to go to the ultra wide. When I'm back to here, go to the ultra wide, you can see now, I can see the edge of the tree here. So I'm gonna come back just a little bit further, touch on the screen there to focus, and then touch and lock that focus and lock that exposure. That is a really important part of what we're doing through this whole video. If you don't do this, fair dinkum, it's gonna suck the whole way you do it. So make sure you lock it in that place every single sequence that we do. So we come back here, start from behind that tree, hit record, and I'm leaning back, hit record, lean forward, take a few steps through that bush and stop it. That's it, it looks like this. This log we saw in that last sequence. So once I went past that tree, you saw this log sitting there on the ground in the middle distance. So we're gonna use this log for the next shot. We're kind of built into it now. And the way we're going to do this is we're gonna shoot along this log, show you a lot of the texture, some of the moss and stuff that's on this log. I should have looked under there before I actually sat down here. There could be bloody snakes and spiders and all sorts of crap under that. Who knows, if I get bitten, you'll see it here first. But uh, what I'm going to do is use slow motion on the iPhone. So I'll go into here and we're going to do the same sort of technique that we did over here, is that uh, we're gonna make sure that the lenses are sitting down close to this wood. So what we want to do is whatever the subject is that you're fo fo focusing on, which is the log in this case, get the lenses nice and close to this. So we're nice and close to the log here. I'm going to lean back, uh, touch and hold to lock the exposure. I'm going to we're in slow-mo, hit record, and I'm going to go nice and slowly along that there. I'll come back as well, 
That way we've got two options there. If we do one forward and we stuff it up, when I come back, well, we can just reverse that later on and use that clip as well. We do that a few times, and if you're happy with how that does it, well, once you're comfortable with doing that, then you can add another element to it all and just rotate it. So, but what I mean by that is I'll do the same thing here, lock the exposure, hit record, and I'm going to rotate that as well. And it gives us another element to what this will do. Next, what we're going to do is have some lens flare happening with the leaves on this tree right here. The sun is setting out there, there at the moment. It's got about uh, an hour to go before sunset. And I'm going to get some nice low level lens flare through these leaves. So what we're going to do is open up the camera app again, go into slow-mo. So we're going to slow-mo again. We're going to get the sun out of the focus, of, out of the frame. We'll touch on those leaves and lock on that focus again. And we're going to go out to the side here, hit record and slowly come across to the right. And you'll see there all those lens flares that came out from behind those leaves. And it looks like this. So far we've had a number of shots building up. We had the opening shot, you saw the log in the bottom, we went to that log, went along that log. So we, we started here, went down low, and we're going up high looking through those leaves. The next logical place to go is straight up as well. So what we're gonna do is similar to the log, but we're going to go vertically. I'll show you what I mean. If we have a look at the texture on this tree here, well, it's going to serve the same sort of purpose as what that log did before. If we go slow-mo, lock the focus and raise it up along this and back down again, it's going to give us a very similar effect as what the log did, but vertically, I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to the camera app. Again, we'll go to slow-mo, sit this on the side here, touch it, hold it to lock that focus and lock that exposure. I'm going to hit record and we're going to rise it up, rise it up, raise it up. Once we're up there, we'll bring it back down again. You can see that bokeh, that lovely soft focus in the background, that awesome depth of field. That's gonna serve us really well when it comes to the cinematic look that we're going for. So we've gone low, we've gone high, we've gone vertical. What's next? Straight up, the tree canopy. That's what we're gonna look at now. So we're going to slow-mo again. And what we're going to use is the widest lens that we have, the widest angle lens that we have. Slow-mo, so slow-mo, wide lens, look at that. Hit record and pretend you're a ballerina. That's it, we are done. Now I'll put them all together in just a second, put some music to it, edit them, color grade them, and it'll look pretty bloody good, I think. But you may have asked yourself, well, what's that phone case that he's using? This is a different phone case to what I normally use. This is a Ulanzi phone case. Why am I using a Ulanzi phone case, you ask? Is because I'm using this Ulanzi anamorphic lens right now. Back in the beginning of this video, I said, we're gonna look at a really inexpensive option to make your cinematic video really pop. And this lens here, it's about 50 bucks. I'm gonna throw it onto this camera case here. I'm going to open up Filmic Pro, use this, this lens here, this anamorphic lens, with this case, clips on the back here. I'm going to do exactly the same techniques that we've done here with this. And we'll combine them all, and you'll see just how bloody effective this is when you're trying to do this sort of video. So in Filmic Pro, I've added that lens. It's a 1.33 lens. Uh, it's got a profile in there for this lens. I've set that up. All we're gonna do now is come back, set the focus, set the exposure, lock both of those in, and do exactly the same techniques that we've just done without this lens. We'll compare the two, and you'll, well, I think you'll be impressed. So we'll come back here for the establishing shot first. Hit record. Lean into it through those leaves, we're done. First one down, let's go to the second one. Second one down at the log, just gonna set the focus 
and exposure. Same thing now, going along the log, I'll add a bit of turn to it. There comes in some lens flare, I don't know if you saw that. Let's move to the next one. In the tree now, we're not using uh, slow-mo, we're just using, actually what we'll do, we'll change the frame rate to 60 frames a second, and that way I can slow it down in post later, give it the same sort of effect. So I've locked the focus, I've locked, locked the exposure, Gonna come hit and record now. Come through. I want some of this light from the sun to throw me some lens flares. There's a couple. Done. Let's go to number three. Number three? Number four. Number four, we're going vertical. So I'll sit it up against the tree here, lock the exposure, lock the focus. I'll bring it down a little bit to give us a bit more room. Hit record and push it up. And I'll give it a twist as well. We'll go up here now and we'll do the, the ballet twirl if you like and we'll ah there's, there's more kangaroos just there and they're probably too far away for you to see with this camera that's a bloody shame I would have loved to have shown you them we'll see if you can see them they're just they're just there I don't know if you can see them let me know there's probably five of them over there they might be too far for you to see Let's keep going with this. Put that back around there. All right. The anamorphic lens is probably not going to do that much in this particular case, because there's not a lot of lens flaring going on. Still going to give us that letterbox look, but uh, let's see how it goes. Lock the exposure, lock the focus. We're recording now. That'll do us. I think it looks pretty good. Just gonna see if we can get closer to these kangaroos over here. <clears throat> it would be such a pain for me to come out all the way out here, see kangaroos, and you guys don't get to see them. I don't know if you can see him there. Just there. There's a few just there. We'll see if we can get closer. Nope, there they go. He's a big fella. Well, we've got there some rabbits in the front as well. <laughs> it's a wildlife wonderland today. There's some rabbits down the front and kangaroos up the back. So there you go, you've seen some kangaroos. What we're gonna do is get all those video clips that we've made today, I'll put them into Final Cut Pro. It doesn't have to be Final Cut Pro, it can be any video editing software at all, and there are heaps, there's plenty of free ones around, I'll link some down the bottom there, for Apple and for uh, Windows. And what we're gonna do is put them into those, color grade them, throw some music on them, and what you're gonna end up with is, well, you're gonna end up with this. Big thanks to Yolandi for sending me the anamorphic lens. Let me know what you think of that. I'm pretty keen to hear it. Uh, put some comments down the bottom there. If you like this sort of video with a bit more, well, video tutorial, let me know and I'll do more of them for you. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'll catch you later.